This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Five years since the toppling of Saddam Hussein and Bush's photo op on the USS Lincoln, the war in Iraq continues. Has the mission been accomplished? Or will it take another five years? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. One of the most enduring images of the Iraq war was the toppling of Saddam Hussein's statue in Baghdad on April 9, 2003. News reports showed jubilant Iraqis dancing in the streets, burning effigies and pictures of the former dictator. Less than a month later, President Bush makes his now famous speech on the USS Abraham Lincoln, announcing the end of major combat operations. Clearly visible in the background was a banner stating, Mission accomplished. No act of the terrorist will change our purpose, or weaken our resolve, or alter their fate. Their cause is lost. Free nations will press on to victory. Five years later, the question remains, has the mission been accomplished? And is the U.S. going to be in Iraq for another five years? You be the judge. We leave you with these images and some hard facts. Saddam Hussein already possesses two out of the three key components needed to build a nuclear bomb. He has a cadre of nuclear scientists with the expertise, and he has a bomb design. Prior to the war, then Secretary of State Colin Powell accused Saddam Hussein of developing weapons of mass destruction. No such weapons were found. Estimates of the number of dead vary. One group of U.S. and Iraqi researchers put the number in October 2006 at as high as 600,000, including civilians and combatants. But the World Health Organization put the civilian death toll at around 150,000 for the same period. Look at me. I can't even speak anymore. Our hearts are hurt because our rights are taken for granted. Is that what we deserve? An estimated 2.2 million people have been internally displaced, according to the UN Refugee Agency. Another 2.2 million have fled the country, mainly to neighboring Syria and Jordan. Sectarian violence has been interspersed with bouts of fighting among rival Shiite militias. British charity group Oxfam reports 8 million Iraqis need emergency aid, while 43% of Iraqis live in absolute poverty. No place in Iraq has been spared from violence, markets, mosques, churches, schools, residential homes and bridges are targets along with military bases and police centers. Oil installations and power plants are frequent targets. The liberation of Iraq is a crucial advance in the campaign against terror. We've removed an ally of Al-Qaeda and cut off, cut off a source of terrorist funding. The Pentagon released its first and only study looking into ties between Saddam Hussein's Iraq and Al-Qaeda. It showed no connection between the two. And the cost to the United States, some say $3 trillion and close to 4,000 lives. I'm Jamal Dajani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To express your thoughts about the war on Iraq, send us an email to mosaicnews at linktv.org and you receive a free subscription to our weekly Mosaic Intelligence Report alerts. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.